The Olympic countdown has begun. In less than two weeks, Team USA will be seeking gold in Tokyo, Japan. In the Saitama Super Arena, they will be challenged by the world's best in the men's basketball and women's basketball tournaments. But tonight, the road to Tokyo begins in Las Vegas, Nevada. This is where the United States, a talented collection with a real leader in Greg Popovich, tremendous returning players, begin that quest for gold. NBC Sports and Team USA Basketball proudly presents the road to Tokyo as the exhibition season and schedule begins here in Las Vegas as tonight, Team Nigeria takes on the United States of America. Well, Nigeria has 16 active players. As we look at their starting lineups, KZ Akpala, Josh Kogi, Gabe Vincent, Ike Nwamu, and Precious Achua. The starting lineups brought to you by Nike. And for the United States, Bradley Beal and Damian Lillard in the backcourt with Kevin Durant, Jason Tatum, and Bam Adebayo. And Nike bringing you those starting lineups as well. So the Olympic court is a little shorter, 91 feet instead of the 94 by 50. The ball is a little bit different. You will notice that. The circumference is just a little bit shorter. The three-point line is 21-1 instead of 23-9, but the, the international game is different. It is a little different. Believe it or not, it's a little more physical. And remember, the rule that I love is when the ball goes on the rim, anybody can either knock it into the basket or knock it off, but it's got to be on the rim first. Four 10-minute quarters as Damian Lillard handles and Team USA with the first possession. In the 82-game NBA season, so bringing them together defensively, not that difficult. Now Casey Akpala, hey, welcome to the Olympics. Go guard Damian Lillard. <laughs> nice. And there is Adebayo rolling and a beautiful feed inside. Bam is the perfect guy for this team because he's a multi-pitch positional defender and he's going to rack. Here comes Nigeria headed the other way. And Wamu will set up Gabe Vincent, and he drops that in. And Precious Achua. Here's a Kogi with the shot clock at 10. Josh Kogi hanging, firing, and dropping it in. And defensively, there's no defensive three-second violation, so teams could sit in zones if they choose. He'll try to drop it back to Bam. Gets his own rebound, and out of bio going up to hammer it. You know what's interesting about Bam? Out of four and five for this team. Lillard took a little body bump. Kogi pushing the other way. He's got numbers. And the kick out corner three. Yes. I say right now, if four minutes gone by for Team Nigeria, there's a confidence level. Mike Brown's got to be incredibly pleased. And Durant with the fadeaway elbow jumper. You can't. You cannot. About 20 seconds ago. <laughs> but I like what USA's doing. They're playing fast. They've missed some open shots, but these are the best in the world. You want them to play in a rhythm. So Vincent's hit a couple threes. They make it three yes. for three, and this yep. is where over time. G League coming off injuries. The near turnover. Tatum recovers. Shoot it. Tatum. Yes. See, they, they, you can be too unselfish, Bob. When you're open, if you're Tatum, Willard, Beal, let it fly. Early on, Nigeria, four of nine. Three threes. And a Kogi all the way to the iron to flip it home. Oh, yeah. He is a tough, strong kid out of Georgia Tech. Still a young pup. And Abayo's worked on that mid-range and brings that home nicely. So in the NBA Summer League with the, with the Denver Nuggets, a lot of people in that USA training camp are anxious to see him. Damian Lillard dropping in the three. Epe Yudo playing professionally in China. He has been in the NBA for multiple years. Caleb Bagata. Yep. Nicky said, you're, you're scoring. See, they're, yeah. they're, they got big guys. Sure do. Nice steal by Durant. And Draymond will push. Jeremy Grant avoided the turnover. Lillard had that three block, but stayed with the play to lay it up and in. With the block. And then Dame Lillard stayed with it. I think he was mad that shot got blocked, so then he went and got his own rebound and laid in. Exactly. There's Agata again. But Caleb Agata. 
He's played in Spain. This is his first Olympics. You mentioned his play last season in Israel. Raymond Green muscling that home. Caleb played at first 10 minute quarters. Raymond Green having that blocked. The push ahead to Okoye. And Magano. And in transition, Nigeria's had success. So the final half minute here of the first, Okoye tried to turn the corner. Beal picked his pocket. And Jason Tatum pushes. Tatum will rise and drop in at three. For Nigeria, they played the first 10 minutes. You know, they want to be on a medal stand. This is the type of performance. You can play with the United States. You can play with anyone. Oh, I agree. They've been impressive. And Magano rattling that out, and that will do it for quarter number one. For more guys. Yeah, he's had a, he had a big training camp, as you know, Bob, in Oakland. He brought almost 50 players to the training camp. But I love this level of athlete he's put together out here. Levine misses everything. We'll call it a pass. And Draymond Green able to flip it. And the Utah Jazz. Former Ivy League Player of the Year. So Tatum with an ISO. Epeudo didn't come, and they will flip it up and in and count the basket. <laughs> Arebu did everything he could to uh, stem the tide of Tatum. Just games to end the <laughs> NBA season and the Celtics for Tatum. We've got a few guys out here that can go for 50 <laughs> on this USA team. That's for sure. <laughs> Beautiful drive and finish and right this? long impression. Let me tell you something. We've already, he, he's worked out for one other NBA team already. I will not divulge that, but uh, that, it's a great it's great to see a kid that can come out of nowhere like this. Levine had the big Udo switched on him and yes. took him right to the bucket. Five continents in his life, which is pretty amazing. His hometown is Canberra, Australia. I think mom and dad are diplomats, right? For Nigeria, as they move it around, and they're finding catch and shoot. That's a red boo yeah. hitting the three, and then the steal by a Kogi. If you're a Pac-12 fan, you may remember uh, Iger Rebu from Washington State. Jeremy Grant striping yep. that three. And he was second in most improved voting in the NBA. They feed you know. When he'll flip it up and in, but you know, Nigeria's bringing in a lot of shooters because Benajay is certainly capable. Well, they they look the part. I'm impressed with them. Mike Brown's done a really good job. Zach Levine. Is it different 23-9 versus 21-1 or are the great shooters? It so the United States midway through this second quarter. Remember, 10-minute quarters. A little different than the 48-minute NBA game. Lillard from deep. Too easy. Hey, you can cross the international date line. It will always be Dame time. It won't matter. Believe. Oh, the the USA grassroots level now. It's more about jump shooting than it is dunks. Credit those guys. Skill level is high. Gabe Vincent. Nice. Beautiful pass yes. to Noamu. Yep. We'll get back to that. Who handles the ball? Who's a play creator for Nigeria? We've seen shooters. We've seen size. Vincent can hit threes, and there's another one. You know, he did not shoot the ball well for Miami this year, but Mike Brown really likes what he's doing. All right, now Zach Levine took a spill there, and at this juncture, that's the last thing you would want, particularly with the Olympics less than two weeks away. You got to keep an eye on any player that would have any kind of significant problem and the twist of the left ankle as he went down there well we joke about breaking ankles and we certainly don't want to see that but uh looks like zach's walking it off but a terrific shot fake by gabe Vin finals you will have devin booker and chris middleton a, a long with drew holiday as durant puts that in he would tape up for shoot arounds that's all you need to know <laughs> So the final 100 seconds of the first half. And a banked in three. He made Yudoka, the new Celtics coach, who, by the way, is Nigerian. And a former assistant under Greg Popovich. That's exactly right. Yep. So out of the timeout. Good here. Bradley Beal on the show and go. Beal with a tough lefty flip. And Nigeria once again with a stop. Highly competitive, and now Beal just taking an assessment of all the limbs and body parts. 
So a Kogi again. An off-guard defender for the T-Wolves. Having to kind of initiate here for Nigeria. Nawamu all the way to the iron. They've got some swing guys that really can score. Lillard. That's a warm-up three. And NBA guys don't miss those. Well, and a good delivery by Kevin Durant. He went cross-court because he saw Lillard with the daylight. Picking it up and finding a guy that makes a lot of those. Dame Lillard. So Lillard, the drop pass to Adebayo, nice. and then the roll to Beal. Yep. A little tic-tac-toe. Here comes Duwamu out of the pack. Nigeria has never walked it up. They have pushed it at every opportunity, and hey, Vincent strokes another three. Vincent, Durant respecting that three. Precious Achua, they'll dare him, and he hits a triple. How about that? I he played did. good D. He's not going to contest it at his length. Nwamu. And the threes for Nigeria have been really... And a Kogi. That time gave Vincent nearly had that. And get it inside, and bam, out of bio, rings the register plus the foul. <laughs> for Lithuania, when Sharuna Shasakevich is oh, retired, I was yes. really happy. Lepe Udo back in, and Vincent. Hey. That's the eighth made three for Nigeria. And hits the rim, it's a live ball. So Darius Garland is on the select team. He is checked in here because the U.S. is down three bodies that are playing in the finals. Chavese Metu able to hit the three. Starting to get interesting. We've already been impressed with Nigeria, but I don't think anybody saw this coming. You see the decision-making for Draymond there and the rotation of Levine who cashes it in. Coming upon the two-minute mark here in the third. U.S. clinging to the two-point lead. There's Caleb Agata rolling it up and in. Agata has it now. Drop it to Metu. Draymond met him up top. <laughs> Draymond said something to him about it. Jeremy Grant flipping it up and in. Yep. There's the end end. One of the most incredible defenders, whether it's Kawhi, Draymond, Rudy Gobert, is the elite of the elite in our game. Jameze Metu. Boy, so that's denied at the iron. Buddy Tom Izzo realizing the mistake of his ways said, we got a scholarship for you. Well, I, I, that, that was a great story. I did not <laughs> yes. know that. Yep. Well, I'm glad the Saginaw Michigan native stayed. But final six seconds of the third. I got it from deep. And he hits oh, three. He's making some money tonight. I tell you, Garland oh, man. hit the deck. And so <laughs> we will head into the fourth quarter with Nigeria of 66-64. Oh, man. He has played at a high level. There have been a lot of good Team USA plays as Grant misses the corner three. And it's a beautiful play by Sadiq Bey. And dropping it in to Levine to lay it up and in. At the services the past week, and Mike didn't want to That's it. put him at an injury risk. Oh, boy. I'll tell you what, Caleb Akata. Pocket eight. Draymond thought about playing a little bully ball. Now directing traffic as Garland floating it up and in. Tough finish. Yep. Stanley Okoye. Good contest by Sadiq Bey. Rebound battle still loose and batted back out. So Nigeria, another opportunity. And Eregbu unable to finish. Goodness, what a follow. You see that about 10 times a night. You're spoiled. Go guard Giannis and then, <laughs> then go guard Jeff Teague. And how about the I know. finish inside? He, Caleb, Caleb. With the U.S. down a deuce. Tatum. Right now, you just get the sense. Take Draymond at the five. This might be kind of the closing unit here. Well, this is a good lesson for Team USA because they have to play now. Catch and shoot three dropped in. Mie again. So KD off back iron, off front iron. So they've gone to Durant twice. And Oni will drop in a three. Pocket 15. Oh, he tried to get it into the post. Couldn't do it. Good defense. On the kick out. A red blue open three. And he got it. The 20th three of the night. 83 points coming from beyond the arc. Only six to shoot. A step back three, and rattles in! And so Michael Benege is left in the game. Yeah, great defense too, big shot. Stay tuned, folks, this is historic. Rand avoided the turnover, his three, and answer. 
KD, his first three of the night. Lead the ball for the D Tigers. What they you know holding. Aregu hit the corner three. Buries another one. The three-point shooting for Nigeria. Scintillating. Durant answers with a three. Vincent holding, leading clock with a shot clock at seven. Aregu's hit the two big threes. Tremont knocked it away. Lillard push ahead. Durant's in full flight to lay it up and out, but draw the foul. A terrific hands by Draymond because it looked like Arebu was about. Arebu on Draymond Green. Vincent comes to get it. Faces up on Lillard. Shot clock down to seven. Gabe Vincent on the drive. Tatum stepped in and knocked it away. Still Nigeria ball with four to shoot. Mike Brown's got two timeouts. He can use it because it's a dead ball. Aregbu, Casey Akpala, and Gabe Vincent. Still looking, looking. They get it to Epe Udo. His wing jumper off iron. Draymond Green the rebound. Team USA needs a three to tie, and they will foul Durant. Now, they're over the limit, so this will be free throws with 16.5. Yep, and that was a foul by design by Kay Vincent. He was not going to give up the three ball to Durant. He's going to make him earn it at the foul line. And now Team USA, if Durant makes both, is going to have to press and foul. So what is interesting is with the threes made by Nigeria at 21, they're only four of six free throwing. The United States is 24 of 29. So the two different lines, three-point line one, free throw line the other. Each team has a timeout remaining. Durant makes it a one-point game. Pressure. Try to steal it, and then you're going to have to foul quickly. 16.5. Nigeria clinging to the one-point lead. Vincent's got it in the backcourt. Draymond Green will foul him there with 13.2. Nigeria's only attempted six free throws in the game. And drops it in. Vincent hits them both. Back to the three-point advantage. They'll take Gabe Vincent out of the game. And put in Chime Moniki. So Lillard, Durant with Draymond and Tatum and Zach Levine. They don't apply a foul yet. Eight seconds left. A foul Down now. to seven. They're looking for Levine at five. They needed three, and there's the foul. So that was the worst of every world for the United States. Interference offensively. And Levine missed the first. Oh, that means he's going to have to miss this free throw. And you see Bam Adebayo is trying to come into the game, but by rule he cannot until the end of the second free throw. You've so got to out. miss this free throw and somehow get a three. There's the missed free throw. Achua pulls the rebound. And with 1.4, you're going to have Nigeria with the ball and the lead and Achua shooting free throws. This is amazing. 20 made threes by my Nigeria for only 10 for the United States. Uh, Achua misses the free throw. The U.S. is out of timeouts. If he makes one, it's over. It becomes a two-possession game. If he misses, you're going to need a 90-foot heave. Missed them both. The final heave from midcourt and beyond, and Nigeria has upset the United States in an exhibition game, 90-87. to And for that national team, that is the biggest win in the country's history, and to your point, maybe the continent of Africa for any nation. Bob, you nine years ago in London, you saw it firsthand. What was it, 70 plus points? It was 156 to 73 in the 2012 Olympics in London, the US over Nigeria. Here we are nine years later, and Mike Brown has led Nigeria to a victory over the United States. This will be a constructive eye-opener for Team USA, there's no question. Give Nigeria credit for an amazing effort.
But this could be, this will be a wake-up call for Team USA. And they will look at the United States struggling a bit offensively, but really, it's the brilliance of Nigeria's three-point shooting that must be...